Welcome! For this video, I want to talk about Lang Diversity, a Python package that's an implementation based on the research done by our team at LabV2. In our research, we discovered that when a language model is asked the same question multiple times, the variability in its responses often reflects its failure rate when it comes to answering that particular question. So the goal of this package is to ultimately provide insight into your language model's errors by providing tools and utilities to calculate the diversity in your model's responses. The first utility I want to talk about is how our package calculates diversity measures based on a language model's responses. So let's say we pass in the same prompt 10 separate times to a language model like ChatGPT. It's pretty likely that we get varying answers for each of the 10 responses. So what our library intends to do is provide a utility to calculate measures like entropy or Gini impurity based on the diversity of these responses as visualized here. Now let's see what we can implement in terms of code. All right, so since this is a Python package, you'd first have to perform a pip install before you start using it. Once that is done, you can start importing the diversity measure of choice. Here, we'll be using entropy. Then import the language model. Here, we'll be using the OpenAI model, which is actually called true langchain in the back. We'll be importing an extractor here as well. This is optional, though highly recommended, since the extractor cleans up the responses from a language model, as they sometimes like to put out their entire thought process before giving us the value we actually desire. An example would be like asking a language model for the solution of a math word problem. We only really care about the final numerical answer, so an extractor would be pretty handy in this scenario. So yeah, a custom one is recommended based on the questions that you're dealing with. And we currently only have a couple of these based on the tests we did in our research paper, but you can always check these out in the packages GitHub for reference. Right, back to the model. So pass in your API key and optional extractor, and it's pretty much good to go. Now we'll be importing the diversity measure utility. This is used to send a list of prompts to the language model, and based on the number of responses and the type of measure selected, it'll calculate and return the diversity measure. Okay, now let's try running this on an IDE to show you what the output would look like. First, let me explain a couple of minor things here. Since we're dealing with language models, we will first need an API key. So I'm using the .env here to store my OpenAI API key in the .env file. And now I've also passed in a prompt here, and it's basically asking the language model to concatenate last letters of a word like this one. So again, it's like since I'm dealing with a very specific question type, I'm using an extractor that's designed to deal with this. And I've also set the collect method to be verbose so we can look at the outputs. But before we run this, let's first perform a pip install. Okay, now that we can actually run it, let's give it a shot. And note that we're collecting five responses from the language model based on this one prompt. Okay, now let's take a look at our results. So the first one is blank, so that means the language model probably messed up the response and our parser wasn't able to extract the answer. And now we have three correct answers here as well. And we have the entropy value here. So yeah, this diversity collector will contain the data that's related to the prompt, the responses collected, and the diversity measure that we chose, which is entropy in this case. Okay, now let's try this again with a different prompt. So this is just a slight variation of the previous one as shown here. So yeah, just a very slight difference. And now let's try rerunning this. Okay, so the entropy dropped quite a bit, all the way down to zero. And previously I mentioned how the di we can use diversity measures to help quantify errors, right? And I think this right here kind of showcases that. 
because you can see that the one with the lower entropy of zero has more correct results because the correct answer here would be L N Y Y. So yeah, this one has more correct results than the one with the higher entropy here. And to elaborate on why that matters, in our research paper, we illustrated this by selecting the responses with either the minimum or maximum diversity measure, and we checked the contents of the response to gauge the probability of failure. And when plotted, you can see that it's actually a pretty linear relationship for measures like entropy or Gini impurity. So this kind of shows that the higher the diversity measure, the greater the probability of failure. And along those lines, we also did some tests with temperature. So let me show you how you can do that with this package. Okay, so using the same prompt as before, let's try passing in the temperature here. And let's use a low one for now. And now let's try giving this a run to see how the results turn out. So the main thing to note here is that at lower temperatures, generally the results are much worse, right? So there's no correct answer here. As we know, the correct answer should be LNYY. Now let's try running this again with a higher temperature, like 0 0.8. Let's try running this again. And yeah, as you can see, this time it actually got two uh, responses correct. So what this kind of shows is that even temperature has a pretty notable effect on the probability of failure. Of course, what we did here was a pretty small sample, but in our paper where we were dealing with much larger data sets, we noticed that there was a pretty consistent trend that shows that lower temperature settings generally result in a higher rate of failure. But yeah, I think that about wraps up the diversity measure utility. Hope you found this useful. Right, so moving on to the next utility, prompt selection. Let me show you a visualization of this before we jump right into code again. Let's say we're passing in three different prompts to a language model four separate times. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to collect four responses per prompt. And based on the diversity of those responses for each of the three prompts, our package will associate each of them with a diversity score, like entropy. And from there, based on our selection method, like minimum or maximum, we can select one of these prompts for further analysis as to why it performs better or worse than the others, right? So this could be pretty helpful because certain prompts or even few short examples may be more relevant for a certain problem. So let me describe a scenario here. Let's say we have a guy who has prepared a huge list of few shot prompts in hopes of guiding a language model around solving math problems. So a package could be pretty handy here as it would actually aid them in selecting the most effective of these few shot prompts for that particular question. Okay, um, now we can move on to code. So building off of what we previously did with the diversity measure utility, we can just plug in the data from that into our prompt selection utility. And based on the selection method, it'll return the appropriate diversity measure. Pretty simple. So now let's try running that in VS Code again with a more elaborate example. For this, we're just going to work off of what we did earlier for diversity measure collection, but with the added prompt selection utility as shown here. Add in the data we just collected along with the selection method. And now that I've set it to min, we'll be choosing prompts with the minimum entropy. I've also tweaked the prompts to be few shot. Here, I still have the original question. And again, I'm just asking it to concatenate the last letters of a given word. So the answer we should be looking for is LNYY. And here are the few shot prompts. Each one has five examples related to the question at hand and the original question is still attached at the end. Okay, now let's try giving this a run. So it turns out we got two prompts that got the minimum entropy of zero meaning all four of the LLM responses for these two prompts are the same. So 
One of them is this prompt as well as this one. Now let's take a look at their responses. It should be similar and correct. So yeah, we got LNYY for all four responses for this one and the other prompt should have a similar result. And yeah, I think that about wraps up this demonstration for prompt selection. So that's about it for Lang Diversity and its two main utilities. I hope you found the topic of this video interesting and for further insight on how you can use these diversity measures to try to quantify errors in a language model, please check out our research paper. And if you want to delve deeper into this package, you can also always check out our GitHub repo as shown here. Both of these links will also be in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching.